Gritty graces the cover of this year's Best of Philly issue, but he's not flying solo. He's amongst a total of 341 winners. It feels really good because I've seen all the changes. I've seen the, the transformation mm -hmm. of the street, you know, just forever getting better and better. That street is the historic Fabric Row, and it's this year's winner for Best City Shopping Destination. So you've been located on Fabric Row for 12 years now? Yes, 12. Can you believe that? Bus Stop Boutique was inspired by owner Elena Brennan's love for shoes, and she began selling her own designs in 2015. My mission is to sell shoes that women can wear, and because Philadelphia is such a walkable street, yeah. they need to be able to walk. Yeah. And it look good as well, you know. So this is one of my favorites that I like to wear. It's called the Wide Kitten Booty. Oh, I love this. And it's a, a concealed heel. And this looks great with dresses. It looks great with jeans. I would love you to try a pair of shoes on. And I have the perfect shoe for you. Ooh, I'm excited to see. Oh, it fits. I feel like Cinderella. If the shoe fits, but you need an outfit to match, you can saddle up at Steel Pony. How would you describe the aesthetic, the style of your clothing? I'm gonna call it modern boho. <laughs> I like that. Joanne and Dennis Litz opened the store in 1992. They're known for their sustainable clothing and accessories, which are all made in-house. I have people that come in with stuff from 1992 to show me how well wow. that my clothing wears. Well, you know, Joanne, I think I have my eye on a piece right over there. Would you mind uh, helping me pick no, some stuff I out? No, I would love to, <laughs> love to. So, so I could, I might want to order this in a medium, except let's say I want it in purple. Yes. You could do that. Yes. All right, Dennis. So I hear you are the man in charge of these handmade bags. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm the one that makes the bags, and I've been doing it for about 10 years. Oh. And I really enjoy doing it. It's. Um, Labor intensive, but you know, it's a love of labor. Eight months after Janae opened shop in Queen Village. Young black girls come in, they're like, you own this and you're down here? Like, that's so great. So I love that. Her store, Marsh in Maine, has been a hit, winning her the title of best hair care. This came out of me being a product junkie, but me hating the experience I had in traditional beauty supply stores. We have a lot of the national brands that people know and love, but I do make it a point to bring in a lot of independent brands. So some of those brands that you can only find on Etsy or only find on Instagram. Break the stereotype for us because yeah. you hear a natural hair care shop, you hear that it's owned by a mm -hmm. black woman, but you don't have to be a black woman to shop here. Absolutely, you do not. If you have curly hair, you can shop here. This is the hydration uh, conditioner from Curl Dynasty. I love it. It's called Give Me Slip. It's called Give Me <laughs> Slip. And if you don't know what slip is, this is what you want if you have curly hair. You want mm. the conditioner to slip through your hair so it detangles easily. And then we have the lifestyle items. So the candles, the scrubs. We sell things that complement your wash day experience. 